put emotions and business aside. You have to separate the two and you don't know how to do that. So that's where I come in and I keep your emotions and I deal with your emotions over here. But when it comes time for business, I implement what you told me on the emotion side into handling it in a professional manner because sometimes it's hard for you to um, be professional. <laughs> to Isaiah Thomas, but um, it's just going to be, you know, it's, they're going to give it a run, but, right. you know, it's just going to be hard to beat the chaos right now. I what think they're on top of the game. Yeah, I got to go with the majority. Right. Um, you know, they're, they're on a mission right now. You know, they, I guess they want to show the public that last year wasn't a fluke for us. Yeah. Um, you know, we're here, we're for real, we're for real people. Speaking of showing us, two chains, you got a shot, two chains? Huh. You got a shot, let me see that shot, dog. Speaking huh. of showing Scooch. us, two chains, you got a shot, let Got a shot. Speaking of showing us, two chains. You got speaking of showing us, two chains. You got a shot, two chains. Got a shot. Let me see that shot, dog. Let me see this. Need to remind yourself that you need to focus and. Um, and try not to let stuff bother you as much as possible. But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. Um, you're human, and, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, but, um, but, it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. Um, this privacy thing, and I thought that was a fascinating answer. Uh, it's okay. Answer. You want to take off the hoodie? You know, I never take off the hoodie. I know you don't. What's with that? There's a group of women in the audience that wish you would. And... Uh, no. <laughs> Girls? Whoa. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um, can you explain what this instant personalization mm -hmm. thing was that you did and why you did it and what was the, what's the value of it to your users? Maybe I should take off the hoodie. Take off the hoodie. Go ahead. You want to? Are you hot? Go ahead. Here. Let me get someone. Uh, you all right? Yeah. This is a great moment in internet history. What? Uh, you all right? 
Um, what are we gonna do with the mic? Put it on your. Right. Put it on the collar of your T-shirt. She wants. Do you need some help? No. All right. Okay. Mark? Sorry about the. Sorry about being quiet, Mark. No, it's. We're not even yelling at you. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> we're not gonna yell at you. No, we're of course not. Oh. That is a warm hoodie. Okay. Yeah. No, it's a thick hoodie. We. It's um. It's a company hoodie. We That's print cute. our mission on the inside. What? Oh, oh my really? God, the inside of the hoodie, everybody. Take a oh. moment. What is it? Making the... Making the world more open and connected. Oh, my God. It's like a secret Ooh. cult. <laughs> Look at that. Making the world open and connected. Stream graph platform. And this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. <laughs> oh, 2010. No, it's 2010. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this... Weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Oh my God, it's like a secret Ooh. cult. This weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Oh my God, it's like a secret Ooh. cult. People of Australia and of our show, we were very empathetic about what happened and very sort of horrified. And so we were wondering, how is everyone going and how's Kim doing? Um, what? Okay. I'm sorry, is there someone talking to you? Yes, sorry. Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. Hello, Courtney, have you have we lost you? Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a quite a uh, turnaround in a, in a well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Chase and look for the bit. They had the pit. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's Go ahead, tear chasing the bit that had the pet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wipe the drool. I was in a trance. Yeah, watch the drool there. I'm yeah, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's a good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> A good day to die. I... But I, I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day, and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It, that, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich, and let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah, die hard. That, that would have been at your chosen that's, time. Well, it's about, I don't, it makes about as much sense. A good, <laughs> or maybe it, there is a good day to die hard. Yeah. I You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah. Weird. Hello. Um. Oh my goodness. Hello. Ew. Strong Brittany. Um. Yeah, it was a weird. Ew. I'm in the first. Can we? We will turn now to the story that is burning up. The internet, Absolutely. it's burning up. The water cooler talk, it's Everybody's just burning this morning. It. Yes. Britney Spears. She's bald. Uh, we've got this photo now from the x17online.com, and it appears to show the pop star shaving her own head.
public unraveling of yet another child star. This is Amanda Bynes we're talking about, formerly of Nickelodeon. Here she is wearing a ratty wig, appearing in court on charges of smoking weed and then throwing her bong out of a 36th floor apartment when police arrived. Bynes insists she is fine, but recent events suggest otherwise. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the story. Gio, sad stuff. It really is, Dan. This morning, Amanda Bynes denies it all, saying she never tossed anything out through the window. It's a bizarre new case for her growing list of problems and wait till you see how she showed up in that court. At Lauer and Al Roper, will someone Don't do the, the junior high hug dance? It's like this. Uh, you gotta make it real awkward. That's exactly how you have he did. to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in junior high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the... Harbor, Michigan, and uh, what a pleasure for Harvey and me to introduce Marshall Mathers. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. But folks, I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. It's headed for the top of the charts. Was that the great Rick Rubin who was uh, helping produce that with you, uh, Marshall, when you did that? Yeah, sorry. Live <laughs> TV. <laughs> Live TV freaks me out a little bit. No. Um, yes, I'm sorry. What was the question? Um, but it's been, it's, been a, it's been a heck of a ride, to be honest. Um, I really can't complain. Um, yeah, I was kind of... Uh, I was a little down. I, I, I found out I was injured and I had to have surgery again, or and, you know, you know, with another knee. But at the end of the day, you know, I have I have amazing teammates. You know, guys like Draymond, everybody on this team, they 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 come over there, they wrap their hands around me like, yo. With the, with the, out of the combo, you, oh man, on his helmet, son. Watch the air at the top of your screen over here. Thing <laughs> Jason Terry <laughs> and meanwhile, the Cavaliers give up two. Wow. Can you take us through what happened with the play with Jason Terry? What play? And you ran off the court and hugged him and oh, really? I gave up the layup. Attention. I didn't remember that. You didn't know they were inbound to the ball? What play are you talking about? In the first half, you ran off the court and hugged Jason Terry and Snell got a layup because you were off the floor. Oh, I didn't know I was in the game. My bad. What's with the ski mask? Kind of, uh... It's my alter ego, so I just, you know, it was a gift from Ohio State, so I figure why not. Does your alter ego have a name? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I can't tell you. This is a video of Hillary Clinton fainting in 2012, where she suffered a concussion. Just please respect him. Okay. Stand in front of him. Please. Sorry, please guys. This is, this is not. The agents have requested her to stay in your seats.
in covertly recorded off-air transmissions from the Bush-Clinton presidential election campaign in the 1990s, we can see that Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. Remember that every single man, woman, and child in the state of South Carolina awakens to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. I would remind people that every single morning we all awaken to a safer, freer world because of George Bush. And Nicole, I would remind you and the people of Florence that all of us awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. They themselves awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. This is unreal. I'm supposed to start talking. I'm sorry, I'm sick. On behalf of this fearless and talented cast, uh, we would like to thank, oh, it's so heavy. Uh, we'd like to thank Netflix, uh, Sean, Matt, Ross, and the amazing casting director, Carmen Cuba. Um, and I would just like to say that in light of all that's going on in the world today, it's difficult to celebrate the already celebrated Stranger Things. But this award from you, who take your craft seriously and earnestly believe, like me, that great acting can change the world, is a call to arms from our fellow craftsmen and women to go deeper and through our art to battle against fear, self-centeredness, and exclusivity of our predominantly narcissistic culture and through our craft to cultivate a more empathetic and understanding society by revealing intimate truths that serve as a forceful reminder to folks that when they feel broken and afraid and tired, they are not alone. We are united in that we are all human beings and we are all together on this horrible, painful, joyous, exciting, and mysterious ride that is being alive. Now, as we act in the continuing narrative of Stranger Things, we 1983 Midwesters will repel bullies. We will shelter freaks. Hey, hey, stop, 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 stop it. Hey, hey, radio, fuck you. Radio, fuck. Please don't send them out my head. 
just call me. Talk to me like a man. Just friends, just friends, and uh, it's a good man. He's been doing well. Long time. We've been friends for a long time. Life. We discussed it. I just want. I just want. I just want to take a picture right now.